everyone. We're going to find the sum of the series from k equals 1 to 10 of a sub k squared. And this is when uh, we have the sum of k equals 1 to n of a sub k equals n squared. So let's set this up. We have our sum of n equals k equals 1 to n of a sub k equals n squared. So basically let's look at the two cases um, uh, to solve for a sub k. We need to know what a sub k is. So if we have two terms to find a sub k, so that means if we have at least two terms or n is greater than or equal to 2, uh, let's look at a sub n. a sub n is going to equal the sum of all the terms minus the sum of all the terms minus that last term. So again, basically if you had uh, a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus dot 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 plus a sub n minus 1 plus a sub n, then to get this a sub n, you would take the sum of all of this minus the sum of this one. So that's what we're going to do here. Now we know it's n squared. So basically s sub n is n squared. So we're going to do, I'll just uh, put it here, n squared minus, all right, s sub n minus 1 is you just substitute in n minus 1 for n. So that's going to be n minus 1 squared. And this all equals uh, 2n minus 1. All right, now that we have that, uh, let's just check for the first term. Make sure it works. So the first term, so this is case uh, 1, case 2. We just got to make sure the first term works with this because we're checking for uh, this. So if n equals 1, then we have a sub 1 equals, substitute that in, you get 1 squared. So see if it works here as well. So 2 times 1 minus 1 equals 1. So yes, it works. So by uh, case 1 and 2, we have that a sub n equals 2n minus 1. And that includes our 1. So that's for n is greater than or equal to 1. All right. So now let's look at this and uh, write it out. So we're going to write this out as, let's see, I'll write it out here. This is going to be uh, the sum from k equals 1 to 10 of a sub k and then square it. This is going to equal the sum of k equals 1 to 10. And then remember a sub k was 2, and we're going to change it to k, k minus 1. We found a sub n was 2n minus 1, so just change it to k. All right, so this is going to be 2 k minus 1, but then we're going to have to square it. So just square that. So let's simplify this by expanding. So we get the sum from k equals 1 to 10. And this is going to equal 4k squared minus 4k plus 1. Now let's split all this up. So let's see. And... Let's look and see what we get. So basically what we're going to do is say equals. Now I'm going to look at this piece right here. So I'm just going to look at this piece. So bring out the 4 and do the sum from k equals 1 to 10 of k squared. All right. Minus, now let's bring out this 4. 4 times the sum of k equals 1 to 10 of k, and then plus we have this 1, so that's going to be the sum of k equals 1 to 10 of 1. All right, so for this one, we're using this formula here. I'm going to go ahead and erase some of this because I know you can't see it very good. So when you have the square, oh, we're doing the square first, so we're using this one, which is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all divide it by 6. So this is going to equal 4 times 10 
that you're in and then you keep adding 1 so 11 and then 2 times 10 plus 1 is 21 all divided by 6 and then we have minus 4 and then for this k1 we're using a n times n plus 1 all divided by 2 so we start with 10 so that's going to be times 10 times 11 divided by 2 and then this one is going to be let's see uh, da, da, da. this one with the 1 that just means you're adding a 1 10 times so we're just adding 10 all right so this right here all simplifies to um, 1540 uh, 2 goes into that 2 times so this one's going to give you uh, uh, 220 and then you have your plus 10 so your total sum is going to equal 1330 thank you have a nice day bye bye <laughs>